In this section, we will remove the brush motor that comes with the chassis. Removing the brush motor and replacing it with the BLDZ motor requires a significant amount of time and effort. An alter alternative is to instead buy the pro version of the Radcat Blackout race car chassis. This will lead to a slightly more expensive build. The chassis will already be <coughs> the chassis will already have a BLDZ motor installed. Use the screwdriver to remove the front and back cover mounts. Also remove the back bumper in order for easier removal of the brush motor in the later sections. The metal bar holds the upper suspension between the chassis and the right rear wheel in place. This metal bar is in turn held in place by a screw. We have to remove this screw first in order to take the metal bar out. Removing the metal bar that is holding the upper suspension in place by wiggling the upper suspension back and forth. forth. Apply downwards pressure onto the upper suspension while wiggling it. The method is a bit tricky and requires a little bit of patience. Alternatively, the metal bar can be pushed out by inserting a small object into the front of the race car's bar's cavity. Once a few millimeters of the bar has been wiggled and pushed out, use pliers to fully grab the entire metal bar out while wiggling it in order to make it easier. Store the metal bar and screw, they will be reinstalled later. Two linkages connect the motor gear cover to the rear wheel mounts. Pry both of these linkages off of the motor gear cover with screwdrivers or pliers. Rotate the rear right wheel away from the chassis to release the wheel shaft. Store this shaft for later reinstallation. It has not been shown here in the video but it has already been stored. Flip the car back over and remove the four screws on top of the motor gear cover.
Now we can remove the motor gear cover. Remove the two screws that secure the motor to its mount. Be sure to orient the screwdriver as perpendicularly as possible with the face of the screw to avoid stripping the screw. To finally release the motor, we must remove the motor gear pinion. First, rotate the motor gear pinion so that the screw is facing toward the right side of the chassis, such that it has aligned with the indent in the plastic motor mount. This indent allows for extra space when inserting a hex key. Insert the hex key and remove the motor gear pinion screw. Take extra caution during this step because it is Screw is extremely tight and is easy to strip if done incorrectly. The motor gear pinion and a screw will be reused when installing the PLTC motor. Keep it somewhere safe. Now, with the motor gear pinion screw removed, slip the motor gear pinion off the motor shaft and remove the brushed motor from the motor mount. Now the brushed motor has been successfully removed.